guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be starting our Christmas diabolical plans. Today is finally the day, and by today, I mean October 4th. Yes. But if you guys watched my last video of me organizing, you would know that this is actually not my first day Christmas shopping. I have been Christmas shopping since August, and I'm not ashamed. I have been looking for so many Christmas things this year, and honestly, embarrassingly enough, a lot of them are not even for this year that I'm decorating. I am planning ahead, and I know that next year is gonna be so chaotic for me, mentally, financially, just everything. Last year from the YouTube home decor girlies, I found out that November, which is when I shopped for my original Christmas decorations, was too late. And a lot of stuff was out of stock, and I didn't realize it until this year. The stuff from August is not here and it's October and we are two months away. Like that's insane. So as insane as I am for going shopping for Christmas stuff in October, y'all are just as insane for selling it out in August. Like girl, what? If you guys saw my Christmas videos last year, you know that I was devastated, devastated when Pottery Barn did not have the last gingerbread house. To be fair, I was bluffing. I kept going and saying I was gonna get the third one and I never did and the joke was on me because she wasn't here. I literally have post notifications on for Pottery Barn. That's how obsessed I am. I'm getting this gingerbread house if it's the last thing I do. This is just the first day of shopping so I'm definitely going to hit my little rounds. I still have a ton of stuff to get for this season if you can believe it i know i did a lot of christmas shopping but i honestly still need stuff i need flocked garland new ones because i don't really want the pine cone vibes this year and i'm thinking of getting that if i can't find it in store i might get it on wayfair because i saw a couple that are really cute on there i am pretty sure 99 percent that i'm going to be doing champagne golds and neutrals for my tree this year instead of the winter white wonderland that i did last year that's always been my dream of mine to do in my apartment i'm glad i got to do it last year but i want this to be a little bit different and since my apartment is already naturally giving warm tones I decided to lean into it and I really want to get champagne ornaments I've been watching a lot of Gina loves Christmas if you guys know who that is I just discovered her this year and she uses a lot of big ornaments to fill up space and I thought that was a really good idea so my main objective is to find bigger champagne ornaments this year hi I was just calling to inquire to see if you guys put out your Christmas collection yet no okay it's gotcha. only on next couple of weeks it's October 25th, but in about a week and a half. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Y'all, Pottery Barn does not have their Christmas collection out yet. And the only reason why I am shocked about this, besides the fact that it's October, is because Pottery Barn on their social media has been posting so much Christmas stuff that I just assumed that it was in store, but I guess it's not coming for the next couple of weeks. I think the first store that I called said that there was going to be out within the next week and a half, so I'm definitely going to come back. But today, the vibe still is not dead because we are still going to Christmas shop. I do have to look for a lot of champagne items and also greenery and I do know that home goods is not gonna let me down because I've been seeing home goods decorations for a pretty long time they're already starting to transform their owls into Christmas so I'm definitely going to look there today it's a cute little shopping day let's get into it <laughs>
have not filmed for like two days and so much has happened. I got locked out of my apartment yesterday, so needless to say, some retail therapy was needed to be had. It was me and Lucky, y'all. Lucky, Lucky was not having it. It was a mess, but I am back. Today, all I did was I was at the doctor the entire day getting my infusion. So if you see a line across my forehead, I had a hat on the whole day. Um, this is the first time I've had a headband on, so oh, they, you can see it. Y'all know my forehead big, chill. But I wanted to update you. I ended up returning the deer that I got from Home Goods the other day. I think I was shopping on Friday. I returned it because I liked it in the store, but then when I brought it in here, I'm like, where am I gonna put this? I think it was just too awkwardly tall because I did like the color and the feeling of the black. It's just, I don't know, I, I didn't feel like I could put it anywhere. I might actually get a third deer from Crate and Barrel this year because I have two already. But when I was returning my stuff at Home Goods, y'all know I put that on a gift card because you know your girl likes to shop. And in my mind, it's free. That's girl math. So I walked around a different location, Home Goods, than I normally go to. And this one had a little bit more Christmas stuff out. I know that Christmas is not really going to be in full effect until like the end of October. But I learned last year from the home decor side of YouTube, if you don't go when they're putting stuff out, stuff will be gone, okay? I was in the store looking at these bells as a door hanger and like three people came up behind me and started jingling all the other bells. <laughs> I was like, what is going on right now? So whenever you are seeing this video, I'm going to compile a bunch of days of me Christmas shopping together. Last year, I got mine up around the second or third week of November and I'm trying to be a little bit earlier this year. Run, do not walk to your local Hobby Lobbies, Home Goods, any home stores that are selling Christmas decor. Run because once it's gone, it's gone. I thought that stores restock stuff like that, but no girl. So if you see something you like, go get it. But I'm going to show you guys the finds that I picked up today and go to different locations. That's my other tip. I never just go to one. When I was going feral for those Hobby Lobby garlands, I literally went to three different locations. Like I was not playing around. But let me show you guys what I got today. First off, I know it's dark in my living room. This is a Grinch onesie. So it goes all the way down. It's the Grinch. The only thing I don't like about it is that it has a lot of fur. You guys can see I rolled the sleeves up. It has fur everywhere. Everything in Hobby Lobby is half off, which some of the stuff it's like, it should have been half off in the first place. And other things, it's a really, really good deal. This is one of those things that should have been half off in the first place. It was on sale for 25. The retail was 49.99, so I picked it up. Only because I know even if I found this onesie in another store, it would be around the same price anyway. So I just grabbed it while I could. I actually got this one on Friday when I initially started this video. This wreath is so beautiful. I've been trying to find like a natural looking wreath for a couple of weeks now, all online and all in stores. And I know it's October, but there are a lot of wreaths out already. They just don't look like this. This is like the most natural looking, most full mixed greenery one I could find. Every other one is like very bland, very limp. <laughs> and this one was 40 bucks. Even the ones at Hobby Lobby, they're really, really cute, but they're a little bit too ornate for me. Like I really wanted something natural. I know I'm doing flocked in the living room, but on the outside of my actual apartment door, I really wanted to change it up. Last year I did a flocked wreath. This year I really want to do a traditional greenery wreath. So I picked this up and I really hate this bow that's right here. But when I was in the store, I was looking because I actually found that on the back it's removable. So I'm going to actually take this bow off. So it can just be like a standard wreath. And then this wreath, y'all know I'm doing neutrals and you're probably like, girl, are you okay? Honestly, y'all, I just, I could not leave it in the store. Something was screaming at me to get it. I'm really attracted to reds. I just don't like decorating with them all of the time. And in this specific apartment, because everything's so warm, I really wanted to lean into the neutral tone. But I did notice that in my bedroom in general, I only had trees as the decor kind of in here. And this year I really want to do red in here. So I picked this wreath because on my actual bedroom door I can just hang a wreath facing in this direction and when I close my door I could have a wreath over here and then my TV over here and I actually just literally five minutes before filming I just bought a TV mount from Amazon and I'm going to pay someone to mount this TV to this wall within the next couple of weeks before November hits before I actually start decorating um, deja vu to last Christmas season I was doing that in the living room now I'm doing it in the bedroom oh my gosh it's gonna be so cute and I'm thinking of making the bedding red I'm thinking of getting like a duvet cover so I don't have to have extra blankets in here because god knows there's not a lot of storage in this apartment and you guys know i have red bedding from last year's christmas i also bought grinch bedding this year so i'm super excited about that and then i saw these today i literally couldn't resist these are like mercury glass ornaments they are selling for 14.99 and they come in a pack of nine and then i got these from sleigh hill they're actually both from the brand sleigh hill this is just a pack of six these were actually 
$12.99, so almost the same price for six instead of nine. I think these are the same ones, but these are different material possibly. The only thing I don't like about the ornaments at Home Goods is that they don't really tell you the material, so I don't know if this is glass or not, y'all. Okay, so this is what they look like. Oh my God, they're beautiful. I actually just bought a four pack of these, and these don't feel like glass, but then again, y'all, I literally don't know. But this is what they look like. You can see me filming in the reflection. They are so beautiful. Mercury glass looking ones. This one's this one's definitely, it's giving plastic, but it looks luxe. And I figured I can mix this in with the champagnes on the tree. And then this one is almost like a matte, like muted, foggy looking white one. I can't explain it, but it looks really, really high end. I love it. Decently heavy really really nice but i don't plan on using these unless it's in this room maybe like in a decorative bowl on my dresser over there then i got this oven mitt how cute is this i got this from hobby lobby it was half off the original price is 8.99 and then lastly i got eight of these these are picks to put in the tree. If you guys saw my tree decorating video from last year, you know exactly what I'm talking about and how I use these. I just put them in the tree. I will make a tree decorating video for this year as well. I saw the like warmer toned golder version of this for many, many visits. Y'all know I went to Hobby Lobby like 25 times and I never picked it up. But they just put these out at another location that I saw today and I really was intrigued by them. And I held them up to the champagne ones that I already bought a couple of weeks ago and I love the way it looked. So I thought it was a perfect mix of cool and warm tones. So I'm super excited to see how my tree comes out this year. Speaking of tree, the only other thing that I bought that I can't show you because it's online, I went on decoratorswarehouse.com. I've been eyeing them as a whole, their YouTube channel, their website for a minute and I decided to bite the bullet because I could not find the champagne ornaments that I wanted that are shatterproof. All the ones that I wanted in the color tone that I wanted were glass. But I got packs of those and I'm waiting for those to get to my house. So those are all the things that I bought while I was gone. I think I'm gonna get a new couch this weekend so I don't plan on doing a ton of Christmas shopping this week. And also Pottery Barn still is my main target to acquire and they said they're not putting their stuff out for another week or two anyway so I am a little bit relieved because my main point of stress was figuring out how to decorate the tree and I can confidently say that I have like 99% of the tree imagined inside of my head. I just probably am gonna get a couple of accent ornaments but it's not anything too crazy to stress about. I'm honestly probably going to rewatch my storage video. That's what I love about filming those. I will literally go back to check myself. And I want to get a couple of things for flat surfaces, my desk, my bedroom, and also like bedding, pillows, things like that. So I have that to shop for for the rest of October and to show you guys. <laughs>
package from Decorators Warehouse just came in the mail and this has the ornaments that I was telling you guys about earlier. So let's open this up. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. They look like they're shatterproof, which is perfect for me. This is the shiny and matte. They call it pearl, I think, on the website, but they're basically champagne. The exact shade of champagne I was looking for. I think it's good to have a mixture of inexpensive and expensive ornaments because I cannot do all of one or the other. And speaking of expensive, y'all, I went to Hobby Lobby today unsuspecting, literally did not expect anything to be in there because I've literally gone so many times and they're still rolling out new things. And y'all, these mercury looking distressed glass, I think it's glass. As you can see, it definitely looks different than the one from Decorators Warehouse. This one is definitely giving more of a handmade feel. This just looks so pretty. I could not leave these in the store. I am terrified of them selling out and I don't know how many they're stocking. This is a champagne crackled looking, has a little bit of glitter, but not too much fallout. Oh my God. And just imagine this is the one from Decorators Warehouse and this is the one that I just bought today. Like them together. Ooh. I got some glassware. This at Hobby Lobby today. This is the Robert Stanley collection. And I really like this one. I'm actually thinking about going back to get a second one of these. Wooden trees. I got a couple of wooden trees last year as well. I really struggled with my bookcase decorations last year and I think these will be perfect for them. So this is everything I got up close. We got the cutting board, the two glasses, my fake book that I love the trees I just showed you guys. And these are all of the individual ornaments. I got eight of each. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to decorate the tree. And then these are the decorators warehouse ornaments as well as the faux mercury glass ornaments back there. It's a couple days later, it is October 25th and I'm going to be showing you guys the last installment of the things that I got shopping. I am currently condensing and concising my final things that I need to get and I will show you guys in part two of my Christmas shopping but I did get a lot of things delivered from online and I also got a couple of things from Home Goods again y'all I'm spamming Home Goods right now Walmart Wayfair Target Bed Bath and Beyond believe it or not they still have an online website they're still going strong so let me show you guys the last items in this round of Christmas shopping okay so my bed spread is actually in the dryer so excuse this situation with just the sheets but this is the remainder of the things smaller ornaments if you guys saw I do have bigger ornaments I have three inch I have I think four inch ornaments that I showed you guys in this video I have no idea how I'm gonna do my actual Christmas haul I'm like debating if I should even film it this year because I have so much stuff and I already pre-organized some of it So I'm gonna have to dig through the bins and find it. It's just a mess y'all These are not gonna be used for this year I thought I wanted these darker tones for the champagne neutral tree but then when I got it delivered they're a little bit too dark and too bronzy for my liking for this year however these are stunning is a beautiful copper theme that I definitely could get with it comes with 50 of them and I obviously would be mixing like big and small ornaments so for like a base set to feel out the vibes I love this so I will not be returning it I'm gonna keep it for next year but this set right here I will be using so if you guys can tell these on the ends are like basically the exact replicas of my decorators warehouse ones just a smaller version so I figured it could fill in loose ends this is actually from Bed Bath & Beyond and when I got the packaging it actually said it was from Overstock so I'm assuming they have it on Overstock com as well but this is the vickerman y'all can see me this is the vickerman ornament this is the shade mocha shiny that's what this one looks like and if you guys can see this the only part i don't really like about the ornaments they are like wired on which is kind of good which means it's secure but it also means that you kind of have like a green part but I've been watching a lot of Gina Loves Christmas and she shows how to hide the tops of ornaments. So I'm gonna try to do that this year. But this is really pretty, but the one I am like in love with is this one. This color is mocha as well, but it's mocha pearl. So gorgeous. I'm actually thinking about getting another pack of these. Each pack was around 20 to $25, I think. Um, and I got these. This is a set of 12 and this is a set of 12. I might leave these the way that they are, but I am really considering getting another pack of these pearl ones. They're such a unique color. In case you're wondering, Vickerman Ornaments. This is a three inch 12 pack and this is mocha pearl 
and this is Mocha Shiny. Now for down here, the 80th time that I went to Hobby Lobby, y'all, I have a problem. You guys saw that I got the tree one, but they came out with a gingerbread like the next week and I just couldn't say no. You guys know my whole kitchen is literally gingerbread themed, so I had to get it. This is not decor. I just really wanted this for Lucky's collar. I am thinking about getting him a different collar set for Christmas, maybe like a red, and this cute little naughty and nice charm was so cheap from Hobby Lobby. It was $5.99, but half off, so I got it for three bucks. Now for home goods, y'all. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this or not. I just could not leave it in the store. It was only 13 bucks, and it is this wooden sled. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna look up some inspo pics and videos on how people decorated with sleds, but this is everything, and I just couldn't leave it in there for the price I had to pick it up. And on the same day, I got this tree. This is the first tree that I saw that was kind of like, not like gold bam in your face. It was, I don't know how to describe it. It's not champagne, but it's not like bright gold. This is just a tree with a lot of texture. And this one was at $12.99 as well. This y'all, this is one of my favorite things. So I never got a chance to show you guys the original ones that I got, but if you follow me on Instagram, you saw them literally in August. <laughs> I got two of the nutcrackers from Hobby Lobby, but they were like a walnut shiny version, but the ones from Hobby Lobby were not made the best. You could tell it was like visibly cheap. There was like hot glue visibly everywhere, not necessarily the best looking or the most high end. And I saw a couple of YouTubers mentioning Walmart decor. And y'all, every Walmart that's near me is like either not having any Christmas stuff out or like just half of it. I'm really struggling. I literally went today and they are, I don't know what's going on with my Walmarts, but I got this online by the brand Holiday Time and it was only $9.98. I got two of them actually, but the second one was damaged and I went to go return it and I was going to exchange it. But then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I just figured two of the same one will kind of be redundant. So I just got one and I'm gonna put them in my little bar area. That's the plan for right now. And it's so beautiful. This is definitely darker than the one that I initially wanted from Hobby Lobby. Those were more of like a brown walnut. This one is like a dark, stained walnut but i love it even more it looks way more high-end than the hobby lobby ones and then the last thing y'all i'm not going to take it out because i'm not ready for the flocking of my apartments but i did take this out to test it out there's two of them in here this is a cedar flocked garland from wayfair i'm thinking of getting a regular flock garland as like a base and i might even put some picks in here i'm really struggling with what i'm going to do this year for the living room, but I am I am thinking. But that is everything for right now for round one of shopping. The next video I'm planning on going to Pottery Barn because y'all know I'm still on the hunt for those gingerbread houses. And I'm thinking about getting the cookie jar as well, the tree. Ah! And then I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel, maybe spam Target a little bit. Like I really am just trying to get my last round list, like no more shopping after the second video. So that one's gonna be jam packed as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the part one to this video. Look out for part two, I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching part one of my Christmas shopping with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.